Hi everyone, welcome to the session on Python basics. In this session, we'll learn about how to print the superscripts and subscripts with Python using the Unicode character. So what is superscript and subscript? And then I'll start with my coding. So first of all, if you want to write the equation of a parabola or an ellipse, then you need to write something as to the power, okay? Like y square is equal to 4ax or x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. So how do you achieve this via Python? Like 2 as being raised to the, uh, as a power of y or x to the power n in the binomial equation or or any like uh, permutation or combination. How do you write ncn or npn? What are NPR, whatever? How do you achieve that? Similarly, in case of subscripting, which will find application in chemistry as well, how do you write the equation? Even in mathematics, also we there are scenarios where we use the subscripting. But uh, the but the very good example will be the writing the chemical equation, the chemical formulas for uh, like so writing the formula of sulfuric acid or writing the entire equation. How we will use the subscript and how we will use the superscript for writing the mathematical formulas. So let's start. If I write slash u slash u the unicode character character will start with slash u and if you write 7070 then it will give small o what what is it if uh, instead of this if i give now you can see x to the power of zero so the unicode character of small zero is slash u 2010 similarly instead of this if i give 2074 okay this will be x to the power of 4 and instead of this if i give u to the power uh, to u slash u 0 0 b 9 okay and then if i print it will give x to the power of 1 so what i will do if you want to write an equation somewhere like so every time i don't want to write if i want to write the equation of the sulfuric acid okay h2so4 then i can write h plus slash u 0 0 b 2 plus so plus the unicode character of 4 and you can okay this is uh, not the like for unicode it will be like for this what i have written is a super screen, but we need to go with the subscripting so in that case what i will do h2 right so u2082 plus u2084 and you can see here here i have given how you can write even it, let's just uh, uh, forget about the formula here it has become the the value is being raised and here it is going down now instead of writing this value the unicode character again and again i don't want to do that what i will do i'll create a dictionary and then that dictionary i will call it inside my function so what i have done here this is my dictionary okay dictionary one will have the unicode character unicode uh, character of all the superscript okay and dictionary 2 will have the unicode character of all the subscript okay so if we execute this okay so what i will do i'll say dictionary 1 dot get and then i'll pass suppose 0 i don't need to pass the unicode character that is like at the back end it should work it should, I'll, i don't want to show the unicode character to my users okay this all so instead of again writing this what i will do i'll just create two functions okay i'll create two functions one is the superscript function and one is the subscript function so how we will do that define superscript and we'll pass suppose x and here we will say z is equals to dot format dictionary one dot get x okay and what we need to do here we will return the value of z okay i'll return the value of z let's just execute this if i use superscript of i'll say 4 then small first pass and furthermore what i'll say x plus so you can see again x to the power 4 whenever we do subscripting or the superscripting there has to be some base so what i will do i'll pass here a base value base okay and then return base plus set okay so we'll execute this so what i will say superscript of x comma 4 now very interesting thing here if i give 4 without quotes then it it the value 4 without quote is not present in my dictionary and it will say none now instead of the this if i pass the quotes here okay now you can say x to the power of 4 similarly what i will do i'll write a, a def i'll what i will do i will write a function okay for subscript not superscript superscript is already done this will be subscript and exactly same thing instead of this 
dictionary uh, one i'll pass here dictionary two okay let's execute this now i'll say subscript x and then here i will pass four okay so you can see four is the subscript of x so we have done this now let's execute few formulas so that we will be confident with what we are typing or what we are trying to achieve so what we i want to pass is i want to print y square is equal to 4ax okay so i'll say print and then i'll pass now this y square is nothing but this is an example of what it's a, it's an example of superscript so i'll say sups and then inside in that i'll pass y comma 2 plus then help say equals to 4ax okay now if i execute this you can see my form equation is coming correctly similarly what i want to do i want to print the equation of the ellipse so i'll say print in case of ellipse it's uh, x to the power a x a square by a square so what i'll say superscript of x comma 2 plus then what i'll say then again i'll say superscript of a comma again 2 okay just will print this much i don't want to complicate now just let's see what so x square by a square is coming and then what i'll say i'll say plus and exactly will come here superscript of now y comma 2 plus again we'll say slash plus superscript of b comma and then this plus equal to 1 we'll simply execute this so you can see okay this plus is missing here x square by a square and then y square so what i will do here itself itself i'll say plus okay now let's print this so you can see here x square by a x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 superscripting uh, i have shown you the uh, two cases now let's see how we will write the sub example of subscripting so i'll say print and then say i will say subscripting of what we need to pass h and it is followed by 2 right 2 okay so if we simply execute this what we'll have here h2 has come okay then plus h2 so 4 right we, what we will do so you can see it h2 so 4 has the value has come right the next task what we'll do we need to print cacl2 okay so we'll say print C A C L. Okay, not this. We'll say subscript C A C L, and then we'll say two. So let's print this. Execute this. So C A C L two is also printed successfully. So now we need to print what? We need to print H two S O four plus this entire equation. So we'll copy this equation entire. Okay, this entire equation from here, and we'll paste it here. H two S O four will come plus. CACL2 will take for CACL2 it will be this H2SO4 plus CACL2 okay this equation this will be equal plus equal to and then we will again say plus which is followed by HCL HCL is simple it will be very simple HCL plus CSO4 right we will say subscript of CASO comma 4 okay let's execute this okay the plus sign i did not mention here let's execute this again so you can see here the equation of uh, like H2SO4 plus CACL2 is equal to HCL plus CASO4. So I have shown you like, like very easily we can achieve this uh, equation like the subscripting and uh, superscripting by using a dictionary. Okay. And followed by uh, using the dictionary, passing the dictionary element inside the function. So that's it for the session. Thanks a lot for watching the session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And also please let me know if you want me to cover any other topic and please share my videos with your friends and i'll see you in my next video thank you